We've come out here today to ask the Austrian government to install a fair court, a just court, a court that, sacks, that acts in the best interests of the children, not based on anything else. Are you aware there's an event in the Austrian embassy this evening? Uh, yes, we're aware of that, that's why we're here. Um, we want um, other people in the community to see what we're doing. Um, we want to spread the word and um, we want them to see that we're making a stand. Um, this, this is a good opportunity to get the people who are coming to the event to see what's going on and to question um, what sort of country Austria is um, when the event they're holding is to remember the Holocaust and all the injustice is done there and it should never happen again and yet such grave injustice is being done right under their noses and it just needs to be addressed and people need to know. We want justice. 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 Every day that the children are denied access to the mother is a day that cannot be replaced. And we appeal for fairness, justice, but most of all, humanity. Who are looking after the twins at the moment? As far as we know, the twins are in the custody of the father. We don't know more than that. We've been denied access to the medical information of the twins. We're denied access to the day-to-day -day care. We know they attend the kindergarten, and that's as far as we know. We don't know who looks after the twins on a day-to-day -day basis. How often do the twins see their mum? The twins see their mother for a few hours per week. No overnight stays, no weekend stays, and the visits get cancelled by the father regularly. The visits also get moved along at will by the father. He changes the days, he changes the times to pick up, times to collect. Um, and if, if the mother decides to choose, wants to choose a different day, it's, uh, it's completely denied by the family centre. Again, it just shows more irregularities, more questions that all these people who have come out here today will be wanting answers to. We want justice for these boys and Beth. And they need to come back as soon as possible. These boys are suffering and it's not right. And these people are not giving him a fair hearing and they're not doing justice. And we need to be here until justice isn't done. Why do you think the Austrian judiciary gave custody to the father? Well, we'll never know that, but we know that secret courts are held and we know all about them and that's what we're here for. We're here for their voices. So I hope that we get some justice for them, please. But um, Austria, one of the central pillars of beacon of democracy and openness, surely they couldn't have come up with this kind of justice? Well, they have, because it's happening and it's obvious to see for everybody. And if we're here, we can see it. And if they can't see it, then there's obviously something wrong. Why do you think the judge didn't give custody or 50% to the mum? That's what we'd like to ask the Austrian government as well. It pulls the heartstrings, doesn't it? Oh God, I cried for nearly two weeks when I found out the story. You know, and she's, it's, I can't imagine a parent. I mean, I'm, I'm a mum and I can't imagine ever what she's going through. She's just very strong and you've just literally just got to be there, you know, and you've just, I just read the blogs all the time. Do you think by standing outside the Austrian embassy, this is going to achieve anything? Um, I hope so. Um, I know that it's been publicised uh, over most of Northwest London. Um, we held a demonstration back in November and um, it had an effect over in Austria, it had ripple effects. Um, and they can hear our voice and they know that we're campaigning and they know that we're acting and we just need to get more people together to put pressure on the powers that be and the people who can make the decisions. One of the statements the crowd are making is we want justice, where is Austrian justice? Can I put that question to you, where is Austrian justice? I wish I knew. Um, I don't know. I, I hope it's in Austria somewhere. Um, we just we need um, another court trial. We need um, a, a fair judge. Um, and I know there's justice out there. There are people there who know that it's wrong. They know what's going on, and they're just afraid to speak up. And we need people to come forward, and we need people to realise that it's the right thing to do. Do you think the uh, being outside the Austrian embassy in London is going to achieve anything? 
We hope it will achieve something. If it doesn't, we'll come out here, we'll keep demonstrating. It's a democratic country. Austria sits in the EU where we've got every right to demonstrate, to exercise our democratic right to demonstrate. We will carry on demonstrating in London, we'll demonstrate in Israel, we'll demonstrate in New York, Australia, wherever it takes. This is a global problem. This is a stand for justice, not just in Vienna. This is a stand for justice everywhere in the world. Children should have their interests looked after. They've not done anything wrong. Children are innocent parties in all of this. They need a fair voice. They need to be represented. These people are representing the voice of the twins. What do we want? And just one more question. How is the mum? The mother is very upset, naturally. The mother misses her children. I think only a mother who has children can really understand the emotions that a mother can have towards children. And if they're taken away from her in such a, a cruel and barbaric manner, I think that it's beyond imagination what the, uh, what, what the mother must be feeling now. How are the twins? Um, the twins are not in a good state. They're not even four years old yet. Then it'll be four in, in May and they're not speaking. Um, they're still wearing nappies and um, they're, they're missing teeth and they're unkempt and they just, you can see from the photographs that Beth's been posting when they're with her, they're just so happy to be with her and, and they cry when she leaves them and they're just in a terrible, terrible state and it's so sad. How is the mum? Beth is incredibly strong. I don't know how she's doing it but she's out there on her own and she's carrying on with her head held high and she has everyone here supporting her but it, out there there in Austria she is alone and she's coping as best she can um, and she's working and she's staying as close to her twins as she possibly can be and she's seeing them whenever she is allowed to and she is fighting harder than anybody is the mum optimistic that justice will be achieved um, she is optimistic yes um, thank God she has a great support network behind her